This is how out of touch your Democrat leaders are. They are reactionary. I use that, this word in its purest terms for its most negative element, reacting to a singular event without a whole lot of thought. The leaders who have endorsed Joe Biden, the former opponents who have withdrawn and put their support with Joe Biden, are making a colossal mistake. They're going to lose with Joe Biden. Now, I think they'd lose with Bernie Sanders, but why put a first bot ballot nomination in the hands of a guy who is near dementia in terms of what he says without a teleprompter, okay? That's what it looks like when you have Joe Biden off script. And ladies and gentlemen, Trump and the Republicans who will support him will absolutely play to that. Take no prisoners is the Democrats' attitude, and you can expect the Republicans to play the same way. You don't think Americans are going to hear over and over and over the words of Joe Biden saying that poor kids are as bright and talented as white kids, or that he, Joe Biden, as vice president, met with students who had survived the Parkland school shooting, that he's made up other things about where he was in civil rights movements and in other protests on behalf of labor. He makes things up. Lying to the public is a bad thing. Democrats get away with it. Trump has gotten away with it too. Trump's lies are little ones. Hillary and Joe Biden lie about big things, about what they are going to accomplish when they have no chance of accomplishing them. Medicare for all is not going to happen, okay? Congress is not going to pass this. But here comes some otherwise thoughtful Democrat leaders just buying in to this sudden Joe Biden bandwagon. And it has made it a big, powerful steam engine. Democrats reacted four years ago to the political problems that caused them to have Hillary Clinton without enough scrutiny. They got rid of superdelegates. Superdelegates, you may remember in 2016's convention, voted 800 to 16 in favor of Hillary over Bernie Sanders, even though Sanders was nearly at Hillary's level in terms of Democrat popularity, Democrat voter popularity. You may need those superdelegates now to make this an open convention after all, because if you get Joe Biden on the first ballot, you're not gonna win. It's 48 to three is my prediction. I see no more than 19 electoral votes in favor of Joe Biden, probably 16. I think he wins Maryland, Delaware, and DC. Folks, reactionaries are not good in a system that is designed to temper the reactions of people. That's what the Constitution is about. For stable governments, it is a relatively conservative document, but modern Democrat leaders are joining in with the radical leftists, leaders and not leaders, in being the opposite of conservative, in being radical for change without a lot of thought. It's going to hurt. You're going to be the party with the ignominy of having lost to Donald Trump twice. Open up your convention. You got a chance of getting somebody from outside the group, maybe pairing her or him with Amy Klobuchar, who was the, I think, candidate most untarnished by the last year of debates, and maybe you have a fighting chance. I'm Mark Stewart. Good luck.